So I've gotten some comments on my uh my my shipwrecked Broadside Beach 64 game uh playthrough saying that I am missing some context in regards to the game. So um we're going to get some context. I went to Squeaks the Corga's YouTube channel and uh we got some videos here that are related to this game. So we're going to we're going to check these out. We're going to get up to up uh, we're going to we're going to fill ourselves with knowledge on what's going on. There is some copyrighted music in here, so you are going to hear some little, like, distortions here and there that are not natural to what these videos are. I'm going to have to, like, pitch stuff down, reverse it, etc. But we're going to watch this. We're going to see what's going on. And we're going to try to piece together the story. I'm just gathering information. If I don't get the story right, I don't get the story right. But, yeah, let me know what you guys think. Anyway, let's get started. This one's called Found Footage Collection. The description says, Hey, everyone, my name is Scott. I recently came across a bunch of these tapes about Broadside up on eBay, and I want to share it with you guys. I really want this to get to top 10 video like Chills or something, because he's my favorite YouTuber. Thanks for watching, and be sure to like and subscribe. Basic stuff. Let's get started. Literally... Okay, recently picked up these old Broadside Beach tapes on eBay. Broadside Beach is an old island that was open on an island-bound theme park sort of attraction, but it shut down for a while due to low attendance. Interesting. This is a uh, royalty fee music. Free music. Free fee music. <laughs> the company was founded by Rex Broadside over 50 years ago, but only recently went defunct. These tapes have been seen by the public until now. Have not been seen by the public until now. They made a comeback through creepypastas and such. This, is the fir this first tape is an introduction tape. Okay. Cool. Let's see what goes down. Um, okay, so the subtitles are auto-generated. They're not made by the, uh, the creator of this series. Um, I will check between every video if there are creator-made subtitles. But just know that if I turned on these subtitles in this video, they would be incorrect. So... I pause a lot in my reactions too, by the way, just so you guys know. Now you guys know. Broadside, baby! Yeah! We out here. Hello, our new aspiring employee. Hi. Welcome to the tape that will change the future of your career path. Sounds if familiar. If you have acquired this tape, it means that you are currently being brought over to the island and going through your training. Training for what, exactly? Well, <laughs> this you've been is great. what we call a cast member. A cast you member. You might not have to wear those silly costumes, but you'll be filling the gaps that our regular employees can't. That's we super... We often split this up into three different categories. Similar to Disney. Firstly, let's start with the obvious. We call this first role the bargainers. Yup, you'll be looking after the gift shop. We keep roughly two employees per store. Uh -huh. Since they're small, this should be a piece of cake. Okay. Each store has a closet behind the register. Uh -huh. This is where we keep our cleaning equipment and shipments of the merchandise. So this is just them setting up for what's to come. Some scary shit's about to happen. And you're about to know that there are like dead ends. There's a closet. There's something in the closet. There's the front exit door. I don't As know. we give out. Know. You'll also have Exposition. to work the register and keep the shelves topped off. What does this mean? If someone takes something, this. once they leave, move out of the register and put out a replacement. Right. Always, and I mean always, keep the door open. <laughs> Keeping it shut is a sign that you don't want people in there, meaning they will eventually leave. Floors what about the AC? Nightly before going back to your cabin. Do not leave the place dirty before you go. The trash can, if you cannot locate it, is tucked in the cabinet under the register. Oh, here we go. Here comes now, the spook. Oh. Let's move on, shall we? Position two. Oh, okay, 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 okay. I love these little pauses in these videos. Because, like, you can go frame by frame. So let's go frame by frame. Let's look Move at this. On, shall we? But uh, I love these little pauses, like, in the music. I don't know what that's supposed to be. Position but... two for anyway. cast members. Arguably one of the most important is the lifeguard position. Yeah. We provide lifeguard stations up on the beach. Arguably? We the shore and Saving lives? Swimming in the water. If someone is in danger... We've provided the tools needed to help them. This is so Namely, well made. the rafts that are right inside the station. If someone is drowning, you must come out of the station, dive in, and yeah. drag them up to land. Yeah. Do not repeat. Do not let them go underwater. <laughs> yeah. If they're fully engulfed in the water, reach under and pull them out. Keep their head above water at all times. It's lifeguard if training. If they are unconscious, <laughs> yes. you are going to have to perform CPR. Press on the stomach 30 times two breaths to the mouth, and repeat until they are breathing once again. If they are- Oh. If they are- Provided a whistle to catch the attention of those who could be endangering others. 
Okay. Bottom line, keep them out of the water. Uh. Keep them out of the water. Somebody drowned. Keep them out. I remember from our movie, <laughs> The Tiny Mouse Chef, anyone can cook. But, of course. Ratatouille. It's like a bootleg ratatouille. That doesn't mean everyone will. The Tiny Mouse Chef. As a matter of fact, we leave that job to the professionals. In your case, you'll be the one doing all of the dirty work. Cleaning oh, the dining oh, oh. halls and refilling the soft serve machines. You are basically the backbone of the kitchen, if you think about it. Oh, we got some flashy, flashy images on the screen. Let's see what these are, baby. Oh, oh, oh. Yeah, I see you. So we've seen this character. We've seen... This is uh, this is Bucky, right? This is Bucky Vessel. Like, I, I was told something about, like, vessel forms of these things. But, like, I don't, I don't know if that's exactly who this is. But, think yeah. One frame. Your wow. goal is to create an enjoyable environment. Void of any disturbances, uh -huh. especially whilst guests are eating. We serve a multitude of different foods here. Fast food, tropical themed dishes, and hey, on the bright side, hey. cast members' lunch is provided to them for free. Nice. That's awesome. While this does bring us to the end of your duties, there are some other things I believe we should... Okay, this video is pretty long. There's still like 15 minutes left. We're arriving on the island in a few days. If you are watching this tape, make yourself at home. And remember, copies of this oh. tape will be provided to anyone who needs them upon record. This next video is sadly audio only, but I tried to recover it best I can. Okay. It is a news report. I love how they're used. Okay, so this is supposed to be like a YouTuber compiling all this stuff together, like a like, like a smaller YouTuber. So this is really accurate to what you see. You got the, the royalty-free... Um, music from Incompetech that's playing while we got these like plain text on the screen with the with the transitions like the fade like see that those those like really basic transitions it's so good dude like it looks really generic until you realize like what it's supposed to be breaking news we have just received word that the costumed actor Brandon Lester has unfortunately passed away from what is believed to oh, have no. been an accident involving a heat wave and the inside of a costume at the Broadside Beach attraction. Lester was supposed to be playing the character of Bucky Beaver, taking a photo with a family when he desperately began grabbing at his throat, uh. which had been covered up by the big solid head of the costume. He fell to the ground, prying at his head until he stopped moving. The cruise's tours to the island have been suspended until this problem has been sorted out. Broadside themselves have provided zero information about oh my this God. Of Offering no further statement on the <laughs> issue. Sir? And coming up, this local farmer has somehow produced a three-eyed chicken. This mutation of the chicken's body- Sorry about the footage I added into this, uh, that segment. I just wanted to give you something to look at that fit- Look at- Look at that fit the mood. Oh. So they added that footage. Oh, <laughs> it's more royalty free. That's so stupid. Anyways, after a few months, the island had reopened and stuff. Okay. Bucky was already back to Brand- So Brandon was kind of easy to replace. Okay. Yeah, but Brandon... I cannot find any more info about the about Brandon Lester. All I can find is some Alabama stuff and Facebook accounts. Mess with the beaver, get the cleaver. I also came across this meme that I thought was kind of funny, so I'm going to add it to the video to make you laugh. It worked. Wow, meme droid. So stupid. Anyways, I have more stuff to show you. This is really cool. It's formatted really well to like one of those YouTubers that like have like, you know what I'm talking about. Oh, this next video is, is a TV show created by Broadside used to scare children. It was like Goosebumps. The hosts were two ugly dolls. Oh, oh. Oh, that's Smile Dog. This character looks a lot like Smile Dog. JPG from the Creepy Pasta. Oh, there's also a bunny named the Hunter. Oh, is that what we saw in the game? It reminds me of Nightmare Nightmare Photo Negative Mickey from. Okay. Anyways, let's begin the tape. So this is all like recent time. This is definitely set in current times. So you mentioned like FNAF. Thing. Should I put this in? Hang on, let me type this. Let me type this out real quick. Uh, 
T one D L I seven four V seven C Q A H H U slash A A B Z I Y W I E A R C K M W eight J X H C one P Z V A question mark D L equals zero. Okay, so we wrote that down. That's written down. We can visit that in a minute. Unless it explains it here, which it might. Weird. Really weird. This is supposed to be the Goosebumps thing, right? Sir? Anyways, let's begin the... Oh, Cryptid Tales from Crystal Creek. Okay, so this is... Whoa. So that black and white section at the second ending that I got in the game is probably going to be explained from a lot of this. <laughs> Something's wrong with the tape. We're going to have to move on while I try to fix it. What? This isn't live. I have decided to post on a forum asking about the island and a few people came to me. I decided to call a, a couple on them. What? A couple on them on... What? On Skype to get some insight. Oh, oh I see. So what was one thing that you remembered back at uh, Broadside when you first visited? When I first visit the island, uh, I was like, hey, I want to see Giovanni because, you know, Giovanni is cool. And um, I ask one of the employees who works there, uh, I ask him, hey, where is Giovanni? He's uh, missing. And they said he was sleeping. But I really didn't buy it, I think. Uh, yeah. Huh. Yeah, I didn't really buy it at all. It, yeah. it was like this. Yeah, I think that that's kind of like an excuse to make because I don't really think they sleep at all very much because they're their costumes giovanni is like the the duck guy the, giovanni the goose is he a goose he was the guy in the it was like the oven minigame yeah uh, i don't know i don't i don't understand why they went like i figured they would have like scheduled times or something like that they were always just kind of walking around the place Mhm. Mm okay so what was one thing you remembered while you were at the park <laughs> oh man uh I kind of repressed this, if I'll be honest, but it, it might have been nothing, but it was so weird. Uh, uh, bear with me. My, uh, my memory's kind of going. It's been so long, but I was four years old. Oh, wow. And I, I was playing tag with, um, uh, I think with Bucky and a couple other kids. Jesus. That they were really good at like uh, whoever was in those costumes, like good job to them because they were running around playing tag. You four. know, uh, that's got to be a really hard time for them. But yeah. anyways, uh, <clears throat> I guess yeah. I remember playing tag with like Bucky and a couple other kids, and uh, I tripped and just completely face planted into the sand, sand all in my eyes. And when I get up, like brushing the sand out of my eyes, I might have seen something because of the because of the sand. I might have been seeing things, but I swear to fucking god, <laughs> the sand moved. I could see a lump where I had sprained my ankle that was pulsating, and then it just sunk back down. Oh. Nocturnal Fish was kind of long, so I cut most of the interview out of the video. Oh, right, so there's there was something buried. Or somebody, or someone. Used to be someone. That's what that was. Anyways, look what else I found. <laughs> it's so dumb, dude. It's not it's not in a bad way. Look at this awesome shot of the statue I found. That man next to... What does that say? Ne that man next to Bucky is called Rex Broadside. He founded the company. People think he froze himself. What? 
I think they're very stupid. What do you mean froze himself? Like cryostasis? You do have to think though. Rex has made such a difference in this world. Really? He seems like a pretty cool guy to play Gmod with if he was still alive. <laughs> what? <laughs> That's so funny. A lot of people disrespect him though. Oh, Gmod. <laughs> Good times. There was one creepypasta circulating about Rex being a zombie inside of Bucky costume. Ah, oh, it's so stupid. I mean, crazy shit be happening. There was even a game inspired by this bad story. There was more. Wait, there was even a game. Wait, 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 hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up. A game? What's this? Is this, oh, is this the developer's other game? It says broadside in the back. I gotta check this out. I gotta figure something out about this. Hold on, there's more than just what I've been playing? Oh, good to know. It must have been like a FNAF fan game where he was like a zombie inside the suit or something. Which is very FNAF-y. There was more. There was more. Sir? Olivia was the first of many. Have you, have you been turned into Olive? They assumed it was an accident. Yes, this is the this is the lady I saw in that one jump scare with Olive's minigame. Olivia was the first of many. It, you said that already. Stop it. Slot in the next tape, Scott. Sir? It's sentient. It knows. There's still so much fun. There's so much for you to see, dude. This is kind of cool. I like this. I'm digging it. Please leave me alone. Oh, so this is like... Weird. This is weird. I'm trying to like grasp this. Like what is happening now? Like put it into perspective, Scott. You need to show them. Yeah, show me. I want to know what happens. What's, what's happening? Okay, Scott. God. Cryptic Tales from Crystal Creek. This is the Goosebumps thing? No, oh God. <laughs> no, 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 no. I don't want. I don't, I don't know about this. Oh, there, is that Hello, the. Hello, everyone. Welcome back to our lovely little show. Today, we're going to read you the story of Nola Terra. Nola Terra? What kind of a name is that? It would make sense if you shut up and let me talk for a minute! <laughs> <laughs> Call it, shorty. We're... literally the same height. What? Well, that's just how a cookie crumbles, I guess. But, please, go stick your nose in a book and read us the story of a guy who does something Why are they in hell? Like, why is there- why are there- Who goes somewhere and dies shortly after. Oh, how about this? I'll tell a story for once. Once upon a time, there was a stupid bunny named Hunter, who thought he could run a show by talking a boy, wearing a mask, and having no friends. Uh, 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 <laughs> you're in a real mood today, aren't you? Precisely. <laughs> but oh, well, uh... Can I at least tell my story? So is this the dude from the, the wolf minigame? Fine. That, like chases you around? But I'm I think staying it is. right here. Maybe. <sighs> Once upon a time. Jesus. There was an island. Maybe not. Simply called Nolaterra. A ship was sailing in with the sea. They had sailed upon Nola, beginning to set up civilization. They you sound like the chocolate. Chocolate! <laughs> Build houses and shops. Everything was going but. And a skeleton popped out! Do you have anywhere else to be? <laughs> well, not really. It's just shenanigans. God. Okay. 
So, they began to branch out and build more and more land. Okay. Eventually, crops and fruit grew on the trees incredibly quickly. That's when rumors began to surface. <laughs> this sign is cursed, he said. We should leave, she said. My house got uprooted, and whatever caused it, it is gone, he said. It was all incredibly vague. Yeah. This wasn't an isolated incident. Several houses would get knocked apart in the days that followed. Some even killing some of the travelers. Just like you've killed my interest. There is nothing I would like more right now than to grab your neck and squeeze it till suffering comes up your throat. God. Uh... Creep. They continued to try to avoid the issues by moving to different spots on the island. That's when someone came ahead to the leader. Sir, sir, the island had a heartbeat. This shocked oh. literally everyone, including the leader. They didn't believe it, oh. sending everyone to sleep. You know what this reminds me of? Don't, don't, you remind me a lot of this show. So the island is alive. I this there's a lot of truth to this. I feel like that 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 pulsating thing that the the kid said he swore he saw was the island's heartbeat. I guess, or maybe one of their veins, because you know how like your veins will pulsate with your heartbeat. So maybe it was something like that. That's that's crazy. Keep reading. I'm really tired, and I have a big event to go to tomorrow, so I need to be well-rested. This is really bright. Oh, there we go. Perfect. <laughs> okay. So, uh... It is thumping beneath us. Ex yeah! There's another... Bruh! There's another URL here. Okay. Um... Uh, uh, watch V equals B A eight S B one dash P M G eight. Okay. We wrote that down. We're going to continue to guide you through our past. Okay. Thank you. Do that, please. I'm, I'm, I'm pretty interested. I want to see like the deets. What do we got going on? There's so much here. Okay. Is this another one? Oh, there we go. New family fun, low price. We are broadside animation. Uh, R2, Bucky and so okay. Screenshot that. And tell me what it says. It's an incognito. <laughs> it's weird. Beaver Burge? Barge? Beaver Barge. An unforgettable family vacation. Broadside Animation Studios are... We at Broadside Animation Studios are taking Bucky and the... Uh, something. To see something... Something launched. Beaver Barge are is your dream vacation for me. For, for where, me where uh, dude, I don't know what this says it's so hard to read it it could just be the spotlight thing anyway that that happened that flashed on the screen what are you trying to, trying to tell me yeah what are you trying to tell me hello <laughs> hello <laughs> this is weird this is like it's Monica kind of stuff going on my computer is getting hot my computer Home slash archives. What? Dude, there's so much here. There's a dark liquid leaking out of my computer. Good lord. You, you're getting hacked, bro. Oh, uh, oh. Uh, it ate your USB drive. They're in the files. What? 
I thought the island was just alive. That's all. I thought that's all it was. Um, that just scared the shit out of me. I know you didn't see much of a reaction, um, but I got little goosebumps and I, that made my heart sink. <laughs> that was real. And it wasn't just because the jump scare is the visuals with it. Let's watch that again. They're in the files. Dude. What the fuck, dude? That was crazy. What the fuck, dude? Okay, so I put in the video URL from the last video and it is unavailable. Video is private. Um, yeah, let's put in the Dropbox URL and see what that brings up. Olivia Finch. We got stuff. It's, it's a, a zip file. Let's look at it. Hang on. Okay, so this file is called Prey. P-R-E-Y. And, um... It's literally, it looks like somebody swimming. It looks like Olive swimming. Like from the game. Uh, yeah, just an image. Oh, Olive Otter is a starling discovered out by the shore of Broadside Beach. She is easy to tell apart from the others because of the pipe that is stuck in her arm sometimes it drips out of dark fluid this is presumed to be blood by the appalling soci society studies by the ass <laughs> this could be traced back to olivia finch an actor from broadside she voiced pipsqueak in in the tiny mouse chef which is a movie in broadside extremely hostile don't approach unless properly armed so they're like they're mixing a bunch of different universes here. So this is definitely its own unique thing. I've always said to make something unique, you you can't just make anything completely 100% unique. You make you mix a bunch of stuff that haven't been mixed before. And this this series is mixing so much. There's so many things. There's like there, there's the there's the analog horror. There's the there's the SCP. There's the FNAF. There's the it, just everything on top of its own original story. So far, it's so cool. This is so cool. Okay, so there were three things, as you saw, that you could download from that uh, Dropbox link. One of them, actually, I had I, I need to like make an account or something on Dropbox and request access to it. Uh, but I'm not going to do that right now. Uh, maybe Squeaks will send it to me later. Maybe I'll be able to see that private video later. I don't know. We'll see. Uh, but this is the next video in the list of videos we're watching. Uh, we still have like a good 25 minute video to watch too. This is some footage of a canceled N64 game I found. This is what we played. Looks like the mu sounds like the music's a lot different. It sounds like this is like really early stages. You can see the bit rate in this video is just getting toe up by that grass. Hey. Everyone's here. <laughs> That's great. Yeah, this is this is what we played. So what are you doing? There's Olivia. Or Olive. Oh. Oh, you catch the coconuts! Oh, that's so cute! That's way different from the minigame I played. So when you when he when when they lose, something's gonna happen. Round two. Oh god. Or maybe when you win. Either way, we know Olivia's pretty significant. We've only heard of like all of stuff. I guess we heard about um Giovanni too a little bit. Oh. She gone. What you gonna do? Brace yourself. Oh. 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 Oh, uh, hello? Uh, hey. <laughs> that was cool! Yo, I want to play this version of the game. Whoa! Okay, this is the, straight to the next video. This is Workplace Toxicity, Broadside Beach 2 teaser. This is just a teaser, but it's in the playlist. I'm only watching everything in this playlist, by the way. I'm sure there are other videos, but this the, the Squeaks has a lot of videos on their channel, and I'm not about to sort through all of them. I'm just going through the Broadside Beach playlist, so here we go. I just want some context on what's going on in these games. 
Oh, actually, I should probably check for the... There, there are no closed captions. Okay. S suggestion email open. Whoa, whoa, hang on. Okay, so there's a lot here to take in. Hang on. Hi, everyone. My name is Mark Mullins. Mark Mullins. You can submit... Have to your suggestion send me emails so just like taken. This is tough. This is hard to read all of it. What is happening? The broom closet is always filthy when I come in. It's like a hurricane came through the place. I can never find it in my dustpan. Suggestion these costumes are hardly breathable. Oh, the suggestion box that's what this is. Suggestion box read it reads readings. I always have a super hard time wearing them, let alone puppeteering the mouth, and they're hot too. Can we have a curfew for the mascots? I keep seeing Bucky around the place and he's freaking me out. I figured you'd want to get out of the costume as soon as you can. Some kid left a Walter doll lying around. I want to throw it out, but I also want to try and return it. What should I do? Make it actual wearable uniforms, maybe? I feel like a hotel butler and I hate it. More time in the cabins, please. I really want to pr practice my drawing, but I can't in the cabins if the cabins won't let me in. Please replace the lady at the reception. She keeps hitting on me, making me feel uncomfortable. Can we upgrade the operating system and the secure? Whoa, hey guys, hey. Operating system and security computers were not cavemen. I heard a sound in the walls that sounded like scratching. That's, that's why they cut it off early. Can we please have earlier meals? I'm tired of wearing this stupid costume all day without food. I'm always starving by the end of the day. Oh no. I hear whispering. My cabin mate, Olivia, hasn't been showing up lately. Is she homesick or something? More Olivia stuff. There's a leak in my cabin roof. It'd be nice if I didn't always wake up soaked. <laughs> uh, oh, wh uh, uh, oh, whoa, whoa, fuck, fuck, shit, ha, ha. Is that what that said? Yeah. It's very hot out here. I expected some air conditioning at least. Like we're in, it's like we're in an oven. I puked out of nowhere the other day. It stinks around here. I keep hearing noises where there isn't anything there. What's going on? This place haunted. Bucky always gives me the stink eye. Stupid beaver. Oh, I beat the shit. Oh my god. Why has everyone been so sick lately? The island's driving everybody crazy. Brandon keeps putting his hand on my shoulder. It's creeping me out. He doesn't even speak to me. Brandon's the guy in the beaver costume. I found a kid in the staff area earlier. They were crying how they get in. Just wanted to say hello. I need a friend. Buck, his design is so goddamn creepy. Where, when are we going to move forward with the times? My friend is watching a weird documentary, Dreamer Pumpkins. It's really bothering me. He knows I'm squeamish. Should I look, look that up? Dreamer Pumpkins? Hang on. Dreamer Pumpkins. Uh, I just wrote that down. My friend printed out a picture of me and keeps using it as a dartboard. I feel so uncomfortable. Oh my, they're they're literally going crazy. That's basically what this is. The food around here has been tasting like shit lately. Suggestion anonymous, hey? Oh! Was Nathan fired? Oh, God. Was Nathan fired? I can't find him around the workplace anymore. Why the hell does Brandon never take off his costume? Oh! Dude, what the hell? This was a this was packed. It appears your eye spy camera has gone offline. Troubleshoot, send report, close window report. Oh, uh oh. This is the operating system they were talking about. Broadside Beach Two. Oh, this was just the te yeah. This was the teaser. Stay tuned. Okay, on second thought, I probably should not look up Dreamer Pumpkins. It sounds like it was just a thing to say that was disturbing. Uh, this is the wonderful world of Studio Grounds, Broadside Beach 2. This is what we just saw the teaser for. Uh, this is it's uh, The description says, If you ever leave me, how my heart would ache. And that's in quotations. Uh, part two of three of the Broadside documentary series, I dive into the rise of their new part, Studio Grounds, and the hiccups it ran into mid-development. Well, started as an instance of childhood trauma, branched out into a whole rabbit hole. Thank you, everyone, for your support. Okay, uh, let's let's watch it. It's 25 minutes long. There's no closed captions. We're just in for a treat. I'm gonna try not to pause throughout the whole thing now if that I can. We're recording this, I think now would be a good time to mention it. Some time ago, way back, I was talking to my friend Daniel. 
We were both still in grade school at the time, and one day, he called me over to his house, sat me in his living room, and even if the memory is a bit foggy, it's like I can still feel it. We sat down on the couch, stuffing our faces with popcorn, and he passed me something that I'd been dreaming of holding. The big three-prong controller of a Nintendo 64. Yeah. Now, to the average person, this is just a bruise in the glasses of nostalgia talking, but when I saw the TV screen turn... That's Broadside Beach. That's 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 Hunter the Rabbit as much as I can assume when you're collecting those treasure chests. On, it was like looking into the future. We had played through his collection of games until eventually he came to one titled Shipwrecked. Yep. I immediately recognized the cover on the box art. It was Bucky, my childhood hero. Yeah. The cartridge had something written on it though, and I don't think it was even finished. As this game just doesn't seem to exist according to the internet. Mm-hmm. So I think Daniel might have gotten some kind of developer copy or something. So now we got some Crow 64 shit going on where the game just doesn't exist, but a game is being developed to emulate that. Very cool, Lord very cool. knows where he got it from. Anyways, I played for hours, and honestly, it was all very fun. Hours? Until suddenly, the weather outside the house began to pick up, and it was pouring outside and getting dark. We decided to take advantage of it when... Silence. The power had gone out completely. Oh. Lightning struck the nearest power line, and me and Diana were completely in the dark. Or that's what it seemed like at first. We went outside, and the power line was fine, although as wet as you'd expect from the rain. Right. Every house on the street but Daniel's had power. Oh, uh, it was the game. Daniel met me at school the next day, before the bell rang, and he had told me the fuse box was all burnt to a crisp, and he joked that my skills in the Nintendo is what killed the electricity. <laughs> We both laughed it off, no. but that night stuck with me even to this day. The characters in this game are alive. The, the characters in the game are actually alive. Just like that guy whose computer was oozing that ooze in its show before that big crazy jump day. scare. Honestly, though, I never thought much of it until after I began researching for this video. I made some very strange connections, and it won't make sense unless I tell you what I found. It's a bit of a long story, so mm. I've decided to edit it all into a video. In advance, this does contain some honestly disturbing things yep. that most circumstances wouldn't be allowed on this platform. If you think you got the stomach for it, continue watching and I'll guide you through what I found. Otherwise, it's best if you click off. Now, I've heard very disturbing things about this series uh, in the comments, so we'll see. I like to push the limits, so we'll see what happens. I like to see what we got going on. I'm very excited. I, I really want to see. Because right now, I'm still not sure what the main thing going on is. It sounds like there's a lot going on. It sounds like the island is alive. People are in its vicinity or on the island are losing their minds. And there's like a zombie running around. Something. Olivia died. And now Olivia's in the car. I don't know. Getting stuffed into video games? I, I don't know. Yeah. Broadside Beach 2, baby. A found footage documentary by Squeaks to Corgi. <laughs> yeah, and the community. Wow, good job, everybody. Dude, I'm so excited. This is so cool. Oh. Music's starting to drop. If I ever talk about the music cues and everything, it's because I don't know what's copyright and what's not. So it may be different in this final, this reaction video. So if you guys want to hear, like when I say certain things about the music or the sounds that are happening in the videos, you can always go and watch these. They're on, they're on Squeaks' channel. I'll probably have their channel linked in the description. As I do. I, I, I try to always link. It's courtesy. Broadside Beach was a theme park built on an island in the Bahamas by the well-standing animation studio Broadside Animation. Due to the accidents around the park, they decided it would be in their best interest to drop the project. Good idea. This is when they had an idea of building a theme park in Florida called Studio Grounds to help draw more visitors to the island. I hear something in the back. The main clip today focused on a presentation played at an employee party in the broadside animation offices. There's like... 
There's like talking in the back for a second there. It was like the Google auto translate voice. Yo, what up? Hey. Well, hello. Hi. I'm so happy you decided to stop by. <laughs> what Every the fuck? single one of you, welcome. I'm sure welcome. you're wondering what the occasion is. Why we set up this party and why you're all sitting down watching the screen, right? Well, I wanted to announce that preparations for so studio well grounds have ended today. And the park is set to open next month. We have put so much work into polishing this place up, making it perfect. Our special little dreamland has been years in the making. And I'll be honest, I mean, the movie... This guy sounds like somewhat of a scientist. Get the reference? Get the reference? You get it? Do you get it? Is it funny? Is it funny? Is the reference? Is it funny? Did you laugh? Is it funny? Spider-Man. Spider-Man. Sales weren't really helping with that either. Well, but fun. look where that little extra bit of imagination <laughs> brought us today. Let's rewind because I was doing a bit. And I'll be honest, I mean, the movie sales weren't really helping with that either. But look where that little extra bit of imagination brought us today. Now, though, before we pop the champagne bottles, we want to give each of you a job briefing. After all, you aren't a kid in the candy store. You still got work to do. But don't don't worry. Don't worry, though. We still got your back. We're taking steps to ensure that you are as comfortable as you possibly can in your <laughs> new photo. work environment. Now, why don't we start with a little talk about how Studio Grounds came to be. I'm sure you guys remember our previous park, Broadside Beach. Yep. Unfortunately, we have chosen it is best if we uh, sunset that project. Good. Uh, don't don't get us wrong though. We love that place. We really do. I'm sure but you do. Look at the numbers. The park was not bringing us too much success. It cost a lot of money. Respectable to run, decision. And we weren't breaking even anymore. So we decided the best place to. This dude's being really transparent and and apparent. This is a, apparently like a, a presentation. Start would be a real theme park with the rich decor and a real sense of presence. And we're gonna make some money. Studio Grounds is the new generation of theme park entertainment, if you will. And plus, we had some accidents. Uh, yeah, accidents. We gotta go frame by frame. Stop. That says stop. It's a stop sign. We saw that at the end, in the alternate ending, the bad ending. Accidents at the broadside offices and the so island important. throughout the time it was running. So we have taken extra measures to make sure that Studio Grounds is about as safe as Dude. it can be. But enough about us. Let's talk about you. No matter how much we show Bucky and his friends. Oh, it's a it's a point thing. It's a pointy hand. You're pointing your finger at me. I thought it was like a fist. It jump scared me earlier. And I was like, Hands <laughs> on the advertising and in the park. You... All of you are the true spirits of this mean? company. You oh, God, dude. You are the friendly faces that our visitors are going to see and interact with every time they enter the park. And that means that you, all of you... He does not look happy to be in that suit. Oh, my God. You are essential to this park. You are the true faces of Studio Grounds. And what beautiful faces uh. you guys are. And finally, before we start... Let's zooms. all give a moment of silence to Rex Broadside, the man who managed to spring this whole park into life. Rex? The man who taught us we can be whoever we want oh. if we just put in the work to do so. We miss you, Rex. I don't like his face. It's moving. Hey, Rex. Sup? And condolences aside. Let's get down to business. Yeah, get him, Under get him off chairs, the screen. You should all have these nice gift baskets. Inside, you will find a few little treats and such. But is that an AI-generated image? I cannot tell the what most that is. important part here is your name tag. Depending on your position, we will call oh, you in and out of the theater to have I see. you learn the basics of your position and to help you. So this is like orientation for everybody who's starting their job. You get settled in. If you have the blue name tag, please stay seated. And everyone else, continue your party. Yeah. But please listen to the PA system for when it's your time to learn what to do. Oh. This is cool. What's in the whoa, 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 whoa. Look at the left side of the screen. That is a face. I can't see because my spotlight's like right there. But um, my face is going to get a little shadow on it. But dude. Uh, 
That's so cool. You never watch the black bars in these videos, so to hide something there is so smart. That was crazy. Hello. So, all of you in the room should have a blue name tag. That it's there again. That means that you are. <laughs> oh God, I don't like that, dude. Blue name tag. Uh, that means it was like moving. <laughs> I don't that like means it. means that you are a janitor. As a result, you are going to be making rounds around the parks and attractions and just cleaning up whenever you can. We're cleaning up the messes. You normally would work after hours, so you can do whatever you want during the day. You can sleep, make yourself a coffee, oh, go say. shopping. The choice is yours. Okay. So long as you make it here before the time that we need you. Now, as for proper supplies, you have been provided with basically everything you would need to clean even the toughest of messes. I'm sure you already were trained how to do this, so I have yeah. faith that we won't need to reteach this, but what you do need to know is what you can and cannot do. Okay. Inside your gift basket, as well as your tag, is your blue level one access card. Oh god. This card allows you into the places where you need to go. However, red cards, or any rank above reds, are off limits to you. And nothing personal, but your trust at the company, as of now, with a lot of you being newcomers, is right. very low. That's understanding. However, and understandable. you can work your way up the ranks, and if you work hard enough and earn trust, you will be able to access areas in the park that you are normally unable to reach. That's cool. Don't worry, though. We don't have any skeletons in our closet. Uh, whoa, sir! Unless you're talking about the Halloween prop storage. Hey! Now, don't take this position as a punishment. If anything, you're performing the most appreciated and yeah. afforded job at this entire park. Someone's got to get their hands dirty and keep the park clean. And in this case, that someone is you. And you are it's a me. very important person to all of us for all the effort that you guys like. put in. And even if you don't realize it, our guests care about it too. A spotless park is a park that people will want to visit again. To, and you oh. are contributing to that, whether you believe it or not. So, thank you for all the work that you guys put into keeping us up on our feet. Now, let's discuss where you are going to be cleaning. For instance, if you are in Sector 2, then that means you're going to be cleaning up Frontier Street and Rex's Garden, and of course, Sailor's Retreat. If you are in Sector That's 5, cool. you are to clean Haunted Hills and Futureland 2020. Don't worry, though. The amount of work you are given on a nightly basis is just around enough to keep you occupied. Uh, you can see stuff moving, dude. I don't like it. See? On the right side now. It's like, dude, I this effect is crazy. Nightly basis is just around enough to keep you occupied during your hour. Because we would hate to pile too much work onto you guys. After all... You guys got a very important job, and I think that we all know that you guys deserve appreciation for oh, what you Jesus. do. Another thing to be aware of are the security cameras that we have placed all throughout the location. We will be monitoring all of you as oh you my work, God. and if we see an extraordinary performance from any of you, you will be rewarded accordingly. Nice. We always reward people who put in 110% effort into their craft. And if it helps you feel more enthusiastic about your job, that's something great in our book. On the contrary, try not to yes. avoid the cameras. If Whoa, what, what words, words this time. Okay, what does it say? I want cameras. If to anything be potentially goes wrong, normal. any person who we cannot see will always be the prime suspect. So stay on the cameras for as long as you possibly can at a time. Don't worry, it pays off. Really, it does. Anyway, I think that's all we need to tell all okay. the janitors. Now go! Have a good time in the party room. Oh, red name tags only. And we'll wait for the next group to come in. So long, The higher, now. yeah. Dude, this is cool. Hold up, hold up. What was that? Hold up, hold up. What? A few things, because it changed frames, too. It's like they appeared, and then they moved. Oh, no, it was the whole thing moving. Oh. We're open. Wonderful World of Studio Grounds now open. Theme park for family, and uh, we've... Uh, you can't read this, dude. Broadside Beach is closed. Thank you for the memories. This is very cool. I'm digging this. What are we doing? What is this? <laughs> are we about to open up a PNG? Oh, 
Olivia, come outside. I want to show you something. And then it shows uh, a YouTube link. Okay, so let's write this down. We know how we roll. YouTube.com slash watch. Do, do, do. R C X H F zero I Y six K. Okay. And we'll watch that after. Oh, hi. Hey. Oof. There's Bucky. We've only really ever seen Bucky's mascot. So it's not the vessel forms of them. It's the mat. Wait. Hang on, hang on, hang on. Am I seeing stuff on the bottom right hand corner? Probably not, right? No. Oh, wait. No, that was the thing. That was definitely a thing. Another Dropbox file, dude. Yo, dude, there's so much to this. When you pause it, you can't see it. Oh, it says swimming. Swimming? So that's an IU, not a 1U. That, yeah, okay. All right. Dot JPG dot HTML? I can't tell what that says. Okay, so I type the Dropbox in and this is what pops up. It's just this. S scary face image. All right, back to the video. Sorry about the cuts. Oof. All these pop-ups, man. Are we reversing? <laughs> Hi. What do we got? Oh, Jesus. We about to just cycle through some images, huh? Oh, it's all the same image. They're just copies. <laughs> what? Oh, God. Hello, Red. What was that? Hang on. All right, so ragtag meeting now. But first, I want to see what was that image in the back? It was somebody's face. I think it was the image that we saw. That Dropbox image, the swimming one. Hello, Red Name Tag Holders. Yeah. It's nice to see you here. It's crazy. It's nice to see all of your wonderful faces, actually. Well, anyway, today we are going to be assessing your role as the ride operator. Now, we aren't going to be going into uh, specifics, as ride operation is a very complicated system and it is very hard to keep up with, so we're going to let briefings take place depending on your position, so you can really learn your post through and through. First off, one of the most important things to any park, but especially our park, is that everyone here plays a part, both in the literal sense and the figurative sense. Uh -huh. So please stay in character. Anytime oh. you can. Of course, the way you act depends on the location of the park you're in. So, dark and gloomy. You oh. act dark and gloomy. If it's bright and majestic, act happy-go-lucky. Greet each guest to be friendly. This goes without saying, but also, please do not snap at parents or children <laughs> if they act out of line. The I guess that gone. being called offensive terms for trying to do your job is hard, but please put up with it as best as you can. You'll do great. We assure you. Wow. Well, Onto the gritty bits. While this is a complicated process, we have gone through a lot of the effort for you by streamlining the process you would normally have to go through when operating a ride. While these all have different functionalities, the very basic functionalities are all color-coded, mostly to the it's color good. of traffic lights. Pressing and holding green will make the ride begin to move. Yep. Pressing and holding red slows the ride to a stop. Okay. And pressing it and letting go full stops the ride. It's Dull. a little less enjoyable, but it's... Oh my god, more stuff?! Dude, there's so much. Look at this. Another Dropbox. Okay, I finally got it. It took so long. See, that's the. I think that's the only thing I have to say about this series that's bad so far is it's really hard to catch some of these because they'll be on the bottom where the red bar is. It shows how long you've been watching or it'll go zoom by and the bit rate's so bad that you literally can't make it out. I had to do trial and error on a lot of these characters. It took me like 10 minutes. Uh to figure this one out, but it's called Fuck This Place, and it's this. This, this is what we get. Anyway, well, onward. Good in case something is going to go wrong. 
Basically, it allows you to just use additional things, like triggering one of the various hard-coded events that are around nice. the ride's track. These are all like normally that. numbered and placed on a map that is located in the control room. Control you also room. have various cameras on each spot of the track, so you can always find people in case something bad is about to happen. Mm -hmm. Once you figure that out, you should be golden. Remember, Yay. though, each ride is different. Some are fast, some are slow. Keep that in mind before you get too trigger happy. And, oh, of course, uh, do not mind the janitors. They are to stop by. They're just doing their job, so bear that yep. in mind if you think someone broke in. They do have <laughs> a key, after all. Oh! Was that there before? On the top left? Is that somebody peeking? Just some stuff to be aware of. Now, go have fun! My heart. Uh, next is for green name tags. On, okay. party animals. We're gonna bring in the next group. Uh, I don't like it. It's like random. We're gonna bring in the next group. Fa now go! Go! Now what are you doing? Go! Faces in the background of these, dude. Anyway, I'm sorry about pausing so much. I'm sorry about all the... Th this, this series is dropping so much on my head right now. And it's like just rabbit holes that keep opening up further and further. I, I know I, this video is running crazy long. It, it's This is a lot. Miscellaneous recording one. I'm going to try not to pause for the rest of this video if I can. So I have a birthday to you. Slow down. Bucky's Fantastic Fish Stand. Studio Grounds Bedtime Story. Oh no. Music. Happy music. It was a bright, sunny day, and Bucky was setting up his local fish shop down by the local market. Yay! It was a humble little shop, selling various fish he and Olive had caught on their various trips. Yay! That's when Bucky looked to his left and he saw them. It was Giovanni Goose, yep. world-renowned chef, <laughs> and, by Bucky's luck, Giovanni had set up right next- When was this made? Like, when is this, like, in the timeline? I, sorry, I'm sorry. Suddenly, everyone was lining up to buy fish from Giovanni, leaving no one to get any from Bucky. Bucky had sighed, peeking over the booth, watching as Giovanni made his fish. He would dip them into the deep fryer. They looked Fry. so delicious. The breading, the fish themselves. Then, compared to Bucky's Flame Cooks fish, uh, the competition was not in his favor. You're competing with a chef. That's when Bucky got an idea. He thought to himself, Hey, Giovanni may be making his fish with fryers and various spices, but mine are made with love. Alright, SpongeBob. Bucky began jotting down a new sign, putting it up on his counter. A nice Yay. sign that said, Made with love. Oh! Love? Somebody loves somebody. When Gary finished his shift with Giovanni, yeah. he was totally famished. Yeah. He walked over to the island's restaurant, uh -huh. stumbling into the kitchen, out of breath. But when he opened the door, he saw... Holy! Oh my god! Wait, I saw something like that in the game. Did it, was that not what I thought it was? He's slamming a face into that. No, I saw this scene in the game. I don't remember it being a person. Did I just miss that whole thing? Oh. Carrie goes very close to the fryer. Oh no, Gary. Oh. Uh, oh no, not Gary, dude. Oh, 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 jeez. Oh, good. Th thanks, thanks for censoring, bro. Ice Spy's gone offline again. We saw that. That was at the end of the trailer for this, or whatever. Hello, everyone. Welcome. You all have a great name tag. Um, that means that you have the most important job at the moment. Visuals are gone trying to You have demonstrated them. to all of us that you have what it takes to fill this fuck? position. 
This is also why we need each and every one of you to keep everything that is said in this room to other grade name tag holders. Consider this a non-disclosure agreement. What the fuck? What you are dealing with here is top secret stuff. And we cannot afford to let anyone else know about this. Look inside your basket. Seemingly find lost. Find a printed out paper document and a pen. Sign your name at the bottom of the page and we can continue. Okay. Great. Let's get down to business. Have you heard of a starling? It sounds like something out of a movie, doesn't it? It reminds you of beauty, right? Well, in reality, they are the very mascots that roam around our park. <gasps> Under that costume is a starling, controlling it and manipulating it without any human influence. <gasps> they also use the costume as a skin so that they don't receive infection. You may have even run to one around the office, but that's besides the point. With our starling creation process, we are able to effectively create immortality oh no we have a plan oh no do any of you guys remember rex no another dropbox file okay well let's do it oh uh, well, at least this one's easy to read <laughs> dude this series man wow we wow we this is this is a lot. There's a lot here. I can't believe I've been sleeping on this for so long. Um I I've never even heard of this until like I just saw this game on Game Jolt. Um where's the button 20 years.mp. Oh, it's a it's audio. It's audio. So we're going to listen to some audio. This audio file is 15 minutes long. This audio file is 15 minutes long. Hello, this is Rex. Yes, Rex Russo, and I'm sure you both expected a prettier entry than this. You know, I walk up on stage wearing a fancy outfit, sit down on a throne, and. Alright, so it sounds like it's just. It's seven fateful years. It sounds like it's just like a thing that Rex is talking about. I'm not gonna. We're not gonna. We're not gonna listen to it. Okay? There's the there's the link at the bottom right there. Right there. HTTPS slash slash www.dropbox.com slash s slash blah, 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 blah. Type it in. If you want to listen to it, listen to it yourself. If you want me to react to it, let me know. I might listen to it later. But yeah, that's... We're running out of time. <laughs> and there's a lot left to do, so... Well, if we want to outperform Disney, we need our founder to be here. And to be alive. So they're trying to bring him back. With the starlings. Yes. Miscellaneous recording two. Even slower than miscellaneous recording one. Hey, Grace. I wanted to cheek in cheek check in on you. Sorry, bitrate is like bleh bleh. regarding something kind of interesting. I found uh, not long ago. It's kind of gross. But I feel like I can kind of have to show it to you. Okay. Let me explain. Not long ago, I was working late after hours, and I just saw it. There was the archives USB sitting right there on the desk right beside me. Okay. I didn't really think much. I was tired, running on coffee, and I decided it would be a good idea if I were to swipe it and check it out. And holy shit, this company has some dark movies, man. I don't think they ever released but there was this one folder 
the Starling folder. I think. I think. <laughs> and in the folder, there was a bunch of centuries. I don't know what that says and shit that were a part of what I'm guessing is zombies and shit. They were part of what I'm guessing is a scrapped alien movie. I don't really know. They're creepy as hell, though. I can show them if you want. No skin off my back, really. I just think it's quite funny. What? The way they look. Also, oh my god, write a book! Also, there was a... F a Bucky zombie? Fun, ain't it? Anyways, I'll have to see you on the flip side <laughs> then. But, let me know if you want to see these cool little things I found. I think you'll like them. Please stop. See you later, Grace. Less than three. Oh. Whoa, 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 when did that pop up? Has that been popping up the whole time? On the right hand side, it's distracted me. It's been distracting me. Look, the whole time. Oh God, oh geez, oh jeepers, okay. All right, woo, -woo. All right, it's gonna send it. And then we get this. June 26, that's my birthday. It's two years before I was born. Oh my god. Fuck this, dude. What the hell? We better get spooked. Watch. Uh-uh. You're moving really... What is... <laughs> the victims identified in these two videos are Gary Wilson and Nathan Stewart. Girl in photographs was Olivia Finch. How much more is left? We still got like two whole... Oh, like a minute left. This is all we can find at the present time in video format. But we're not done. This video was the rise of studio grounds. Next, we're going to tackle the fall. In the next 30 seconds, you're going to see. Stay tuned. <laughs> Whoa, dude. That was a lot. In the description of the last video we watched, there was a YouTube link to this video called Rest Rex. It's 20 seconds long. Let's watch it. Is that Rex? Super creepy. Hey. All right, and also we had a link for a YouTube video in that video, and this is what we get. Um, that was called Water is Sometimes Very Cold, that video. And also, there were Dropbox links attached to that video called Starlings. And this is one here, yep, with this audio file, Starlings001, attached to it. It just loops. I don't know what's up with that. That last one was called Gen 1 underscore 5. This one's called Gen 2. It, underscore mouse, I think. Something like that. Yep, they're... They are not human. <laughs> they are not human. All right, and these are called Gen 3 current. This is Brandon. And this is Gary. 
I think these are the alien photos the guy was talking about at the end of that video. I think that's what this is. And this was just called Terminated 2-2 two -two Mouse. Ter terminated. They killed it, I guess. And then there's this. It's just called We Found Him Like This. I guess that was the guy at the end of the the video where he just got thrown against the wall or something. But um, yeah, that's uh, that's all this. That's it. That's it. That's all I'm doing. There is that seven fateful years, 15 minute audio file. I will not be reacting to that right, at least not right now. I've been this is I've been going for like an hour and a half, hour 40, and uh, wow, we a lot to unpack. We definitely have a lot of details now in regards to um. In regards to Broadside Beach shipwrecked, and it all stemmed from me just playing this one game. And I'm gonna have to th sit on this. I'm gonna have to really think about this. Sit on this and think about it, and uh, see what I can put together in regards to the story. Because right now I am kind of blown away a little bit. But yeah, thanks for watching. Especially if you guys made it this far. I know this is a super super long video, and I usually don't do reactions. But wow, this is big. Um, yeah, thank you for watching. You guys are awesome. I love you so much. Bye.